everyone, I'm Danielle Goss and welcome to this edition of the Third Age Health Brief. Any food made from milk, be it cow's milk or goat's milk, fits into the dairy category and for a long time it was promoted as a good source of protein, calcium and vitamins. All these good things are still true, but nutritionists are now re-examining the benefits of dairy and weighing in with some of its downsides. So here's the real scoop. Number one, has added hormones. There are not only naturally present hormones in cow's milk, as there are in human milk, but the hormones are actually stronger. Plus, the animals are routinely given steroids and other hormones to plump them up and increase milk production. These hormones can negatively impact our delicate hormonal balance, and some scientists propose may lead to diseases like cancer and premature puberty in children. Two, lactose intolerance. A condition in which the body cannot easily digest lactose, a type of natural sugar found in milk and dairy products. When lactose moves through the colon without proper digestion, it can cause symptoms such as gas, belly pain, and bloating. Some folks with this condition can't digest any milk products, while others can eat or drink some amounts of milk products and certain types without any problem. Three, it's not natural. No matter how you drink, slice, or scoop dairy foods, most cow's milk was probably only intended for baby cows. Think about it, we are the only species other than those we are domesticating, that drink milk from infancy, not to mention the fact that we are the only ones drinking the milk of a different species. Our bodies are only meant to break down the components of milk, such as lactose, in our infant state. By the time we have reached the age of four, our bodies no longer contain the attributes that we were designed to break down the complex proteins. It's no wonder so many people have dairy sensitivities. The gut was never intended to handle it in the first place. Four, most cow food contains unhealthy ingredients. It's one thing if the dairy cow is grazing happily in the field or fed organically, but commercial feed for cows contains all sorts of ingredients, including genetically modified corn, soy, animal products, chicken manure, cottonseed, pesticides, and antibiotics. Mmm, tasty. Five, it is irritating. Most dairy products are pasteurized to kill potentially harmful bacteria, but during the pasteurization process, vitamins, proteins, and enzymes are destroyed. That's a problem because enzymes assist with the digestive process. When they're destroyed through pasteurization, milk becomes harder to digest, therefore putting a strain on our body's enzyme systems. Six, dairy forms mucus. Dairy foods can contribute to respiratory disorders. Some nutritionists suggest removing dairy and sugar, especially if you experience hay fever and seasonal allergies as it increases the mucosal production. Seven, arthritis connection. In one study on rabbits, scientists produced inflamed joints in the animals by switching their water to milk. In another study, scientists observed more than a 50% reduction in the pain and swelling of arthritis when participants eliminated milk and dairy products from their diet. Research also shows that countries whose citizens consume the most dairy products also have the highest incidence of osteoporosis. Interesting. We are told to drink calcium to strengthen our bones, which our first choice would of course be milk. Yet that may be the one thing that's actually aiding to their destruction. Talk to your doctor about the amount of dairy you should or shouldn't be eating, especially if you think you may be showing signs of a dairy intolerance. Well, that's going to be doing it for this edition of the 3H Health Brief. I'm Danielle Goss. Thanks for listening.